I heard that you were yeah. um, you were a college student in Denver mm -hmm. or, or thereabouts. Yeah. And that you were working at like a new fine arts. You were like ordering videos. Um, I did. I actually ran a video store in San Diego for a while, but I did move home to Colorado, uh -huh. and I went to college there. And, and I started dancing. And I started dancing in a strip club. Okay. Yeah. And that would be where you met Michael Jordan. That would be where I met Michael Jordan. We were very close to McNichols Arena, which is gone now. Yeah. But they came into town to play the Nuggets, and uh, lo and behold, a bunch of the Bulls came in one night. What year are we talking? Is this like ninety four? Ninety three. Okay, so they were rock stars. Oh yeah, this this was big time, and uh, they came into New Fine Arts. No, they came. No, the, the, the porn store. The gentlemen's club. The gentlemen's club. Oh, okay. Yeah, Diamond Cabaret is where they came in, and you could. It was a really classy place, you know. It had like a five star restaurant attached, and you could oh, take wow. the girls to dinner and all this. But I saw him come in, and I'm like, you yeah, know, I'm here too. Uh, yeah, I know. Yeah. That's where they all get it. Uh -huh. <laughs> um, they. Uh, uh, he came in and I'm like, yeah, no, I know, okay, that's Michael Jordan, that's cool, I would love to, you know, say I met him, but, you know, I'm trying to earn my money, all the girls are all around him, I can't even get to him, I'm just gonna, you know, work the crowd that everybody else is ignoring, and I think because I ignored him, he was most focused on me, yeah. and so he asked me, he asked the management, actually, to get me to come over and do a table dance, and I did that. Mm -hmm. And uh, he actually paid for it, which is kind of rare because a lot of celebrities and sports figures that would come in would expect, expect it for, for free. free. Yeah. Really? That's annoying. Um, yeah, it is. Yeah, it annoying. drove me insane. And then he asked me if I wanted to join him for dinner um, after, you know, if I was done dancing and on stage. Paid. And so I, I did. I joined him for dinner in the steakhouse. What was conversation like with Michael Jordan? You know what? He's an excellent conversation. I bet he is. Yeah. He is class. Well, he is so class. He just was fun to talk to and, you know, he's very worldly. And he was, he, I mean, but we actually discussed, like, his wife and his kids and everything. His uh, baby daughter, Jasmine, had just been born at that point, and he's oh. showing me pictures. Oh. And, you know, I, he let me rub his head, and, oh. you know, he, he was still... <laughs> I he, bet he did. <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh. <laughs> Alright, so after dinner... Um, <laughs> he, asked, he asked me if I wanted to come back to the hotel with him, and I called my husband, I was married at the time, uh -huh. and uh, I said, yeah, Michael Jordan asked me to come back to the hotel. He's like, well, do you feel safe about it? Is he cool? I'm like, yeah, I think so, and so I went. So your husband was cool with that? Well, it's Michael Jordan. You know, there's, uh, it's yeah, like, was he uh, written on a list, though? Because I was written down. Yeah, it wasn't written on a list, but I think when you encounter, you know, somebody of that kind of fame and you want yeah. to, why not? But it was you know, and he's the only famous guy I've ever done. Is he a good lover? Uh, yeah, he was pretty good. Did he was last long? Um, he did. It was How big is he? Um, not as big as you'd think. Really? <gasps> not as big me. as I think. I don't want to know this. Well, all. you got to realize, I want to know they're, all they're of this. Crushed. I, well, and just, inches. Yeah, how many inches? Well, I didn't whip out a tape measure, but I would say, I mean, comparing him to guys that we know and watch in videos, yeah, yes. I would say he's smaller than Lex and Steel. Wow. Okay. Oh, well, geez, that's a deformity. Wow. Um, <laughs> A Louisville Slugger is smaller than Lexington. He's yeah. probably more along the size of uh, Shawn Michaels, but maybe girthier. Okay, so oh, he, he could do he, oh, if he wanted. Oh, he, yeah, no, he totally. He it's, to it's, it's, yeah. it's nothing to be ashamed of. But it's not like some... He, well, let's put it this way. He, 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 he realized he didn't have any condoms, so he... Called up somebody and said, hey, can you bring over, He said, "Can you bring over some condoms?" And a few minutes later, three condoms slide under the door. <laughs> he tries them on and they won't fit, so he had to call them and make them bring more. So oh, he had to bring really? the bigger ones. So you know, it wasn't. Oh, it was no tiny one. You ones, really but made it sound like he what was. Happened? That that was my that was my Michigan boy down there. <laughs> no, he wasn't tiny at all. But you know, compared to what we see now, you know, like Shorty Mac and Lexington Steel and Shane Diesel. I mean, come on. So the condoms were too small. Who was the bull that put them under there? Probably like a Steve Kerr or something. Like, like, like 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 but they have like, like, a, it's like a water boy, I guess. You know, it's condom, like condom a and lube boy. <laughs> oh, they travel with their own. Wait, condoms. we did hear that. There's some athlete group that does have somebody that just really? is in charge of the condoms. Yes. Really? God, where did I hear that story? Oh, that's hysterical. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, it's not a bad way to go. It probably cuts down on <laughs> some of the yeah. time off, perhaps, <laughs> and maybe money shelled out. Yeah, well, it's a safe way to go. You know, it's a good it, job. I'd be, I'd be that that Bulls team's condom boy. Yeah. Why not? Hey, you yeah, can you, you keep you busy. That's for sure. Yeah. They probably do that just so it's more discreet. Because if it's like Michael Jordan, like looking for condoms, and he's like a married man, and they're like, right. yeah. yeah, paparazzi, yeah. always be on the one, you know. Right. <laughs> and I always wonder if he and his wife had like an agreement when he was on the road or uh -huh. something. Because you know, I've heard a few other girls say that they've done, you know, the same. Mm -hmm. 
and I don't know. It was it's the only famous person I've ever been with, and it was the first black man I ever. Had, so. <gasps> really? Yeah, I started at the top. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you did. yeah you're and let me tell you, his body is like a Greek god. I oh, got chiseled, not an ounce of fat on it, and his butt is just pow. Wow! Wow! Michael Jordan gets rage sex.